everyone, this is Mrs. Kozic and I am here with Mila and Jace. So today we are going to be doing a directed drawing of an Easter bunny. So Mila, do you want to go ahead and show them what it's going to look like? Yeah, Easter bunny's A. Perfect. So stay tuned because this is what we will be drawing up next. Okay, so here's the picture that we are going to be doing today. So we have an Easter bunny with some Easter eggs and some fun little designs around him. So we're going to go ahead and get started by doing his face first. So the first thing we need to make sure that we do is when we draw his head that it's towards the middle of the paper because we need to leave room for his ears and his body. So it's just going to be an oval shape. And after we've drawn our oval shape for the head, we're gonna do the ears. So we're gonna start right here and go up and come down. And then the same thing for the other ear, up and come down. So then inside of the ears, we're gonna do the same exact shape, but a little bit smaller. So now that we've done his ears, we're going to go ahead and go next to his eyes. So we're going to do a dot here, another dot here, and then we'll move on to the nose. I'm trying to move up a little closer so maybe you can see a little bit better. So his nose is going to be like a triangular shape. And then we'll go ahead and do the mouth. Okay, so then after we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and do the whiskers for him. So we're gonna do three on each side. So then we can go ahead and move next to his body. So it's gonna be almost uh, just kind of like two lines like this. And then we need to do the grass portion. So we're gonna start right here at the bottom corner of the paper. We're gonna go up and do a nice big arch and then come all the way back down. Okay, so then after we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and do another little hump type shape that's gonna be right here for his chest. Then we'll go ahead and do his arms. So we're gonna do a straight line that comes like this off of his body. And then we're going to do a line that goes like this and curves and comes down. And that's gonna be kind of like his little hand. And then this line's just gonna go straight back to his body. We'll do the same thing for the other side, a line that goes straight, a line that goes up and back. And then this line's gonna go straight back to his body. So those are his two little arms. So next, let's see. Let's go ahead and we're gonna do the Easter eggs around him. So we're gonna do one egg right here. We're gonna do another egg over here. Um, another egg over here off to the side. And then one more down here at the bottom. So you can do any type of design that you wanna do inside of these eggs. So this one, I'm just gonna do some straight lines like this. For this one up here, I'm going to make it look like it's almost like a polka dot egg. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do some little spots. For this egg over here, I'm gonna do horizontal lines. And then from this one down here, I'm gonna try to do some zigzag lines. Good, so we're gonna draw a couple more eggs down here in the grass and some flowers. So there's an egg. I'll do some more horizontal lines. And then I'll do another egg right here. And let's do some more zigzags. Those are fun. So we're gonna go ahead over here and let's just do a couple, let's do a heart. Or not a heart, <laughs> a flower. And then another flower. Okay, good. So now we're gonna do some little squiggly lines. It's gonna go around the page, so I'll show you where to put them. So let's start over here. So we're gonna do a line like this that kind of goes up and loops around. Okay, we'll do another one up here. Loops around, loops around. Let's squeeze one in here and one right here. 
Okay, just to kind of add something fun to the picture. So you can go ahead and try to do those. Um, let's see, are we missing anything? Oh, his tail, we need his tail. So right here, we're gonna do a little tail. One, two, three little humps. And then I think that's it. So what I did for my picture, so I'm, instead of me coloring on here, since it does take up some time, I'm gonna move this outline to you a little bit closer so that way you're able to see it up close in case you do want to pause the video. So there it is. Okay, so what you can do too is you can use markers like I did for this one. And for mine, I did markers for, you know, the cheeks right here. I did markers for his belly and markers for the ears. And I also did all of the Easter eggs in marker in the flowers and marker too. And then the rest I did in crayon, just to kind of give it like a different dimension, so a different look to it. But again, you can do it however you would like. If you wanna use markers for the whole thing, that's great. If you wanna use crayons for the whole thing, that's fine. Even if you have like paint at home or anything else that you wanna to use to go ahead and give it some color, that's great too. So again, however you would like to do it, be creative with it. Um, if you also wanna add like a background to him, you can do that, even like a nice blue to make it look like the sky, that would be fun. Or if you wanna leave my leave it blank and white like mine, that's great too. So hopefully you enjoy, enjoy this directed drawing of an Easter bunny. So I'm just gonna go ahead next and close out with my kids. So hopefully you enjoyed this video of a directed drawing of an Easter bunny. So we just wanna thank everyone for watching. Please subscribe. Please, please. Bye. Bye, guys.